So question number four says we should evaluate this sodic expression and we are going to expand it and simplify it just the way we normally expand and simplify algebraic expressions. So what we are going to do, we are going to take the first term here and multiply the two terms to the right. So we have three root three, multiply the whole of this root six plus three root three. Then you take the second term, which is negative six, or negative root six. You expand through, or you multiply through the second bracket, root six plus three root three. This is equal to, this time this, uh, already roots can multiply themselves, so we have three. Root three times root six, is root three times six, 18. We add numbers by numbers and sort by sort. Therefore we say three times three is nine and root three times root three is root nine because three times three is nine. Then we move to the next one. Minus root six times root six is minus root 36 altogether because six times six is 36. Minus will overpower this, so we have minus. Root and root, so three remain constant. Six times three is 18, so we have root 18 here. You can see we have positive three root 18. We have negative three root 18, so they will cancel out by subtraction. What we have is root nine, square root of nine is three. We have nine times three here minus root 36 minus square root of 36, you know is six. Six times six is 36. This is equal to nine times three is 27. 27 minus six is equal to 21, which is our final answer. And you can see from here, we have the option A, which is the right answer. So now let us move on to question number five.